current triggering. Now that we have our CTs on each leg, by default, all the current uh, events are turned off. This is not a bad place to start with them all turned off and actually run your PQ for a while to see what the current levels are. If you set the levels too low, you may be inundated with events at the start of your PQ. We're just going to record phase current events today, and we know that we have 200 amp CTs, and our load runs approximately 120 amps, so maybe I want to know when it goes above 150 amps. I want to set a recess of 20 amps. The inrush threshold is an interesting one. This would say, if in half a cycle, my current goes above one amp, set an event. This could be true if we have a motor load, so we might want to increase this also. So now, if we go above 150 amps in half a cycle, it will create an event. This value may take a bit of practice to set correctly before you're happy with it. Similar for earth currents, we might want to say if our earth current goes above 10 amp, we want to know we have one amp hysteresis. And if we go up to 10 amps in half in 0.2 of a cycle, we want to know. We could also set event levels for a six, seven, and eight. I'm going to leave them off for this time. 